The end update could change everything. But why? Why is the end update so significant, and why does seemingly everyone want the end update? Well, that's what we're going to be revealing and discussing all in today's video. So, if you're interested, strap in for this one. So, the end update has been a highly requested update by the Minecraft community for quite some time now. Basically, ever since Caves and Cliffs, it has been like the number one request. Although, we of course still haven't had it. it a lot of people speculate that there will be an end update this year revealed at Minecraft Live 2024. So, what is so important about the end update? And also, do I think the end update will happen this year? As a side note, it's likely, but a lot of people thought the end update would happen in this year instead of Tricky Trials. And then, of course, we got Tricky Trials, which was, you know, the end update was necessary, right? We need it. And then we just got Tricky Trials as some kind of completely random different thing. So that could happen this year too. It, no one really can say that it can't. It's definitely possible. But given the even further increased demand for an end update, I can't see Mojang not making one at this point unless they have something else really good that they're cooking up right now. Anyway, now for why the end update is so important. One, because like I said, it's highly requested this would be finally an update that people have been asking for again. Like 1.21 was a good update, but no one was really asking for it, and no one was really asking for Trails and Tales either. So an update that people had actually been asking for would already be sure to make it a bit better received by the community than other updates. That, and of course, the end update, in a way, could mimic the success of the Nether update, right? They are both dimensions that are or the nether was very empty. It needed an overhaul to bring new life into it. Mojang could do the same with the ender here, and that's what a lot of people have been wanting, the ender to be refreshed just like the nether was. So that makes this update important in the sense that it could mimic the nether update, which was very liked by the community and that the ender is something that actually needs an update unlike the other recent updates we've been having not to say that those were bad but they weren't necessary like this kind of update is but the biggest thing here as to why the end update is so important and means so much is something that not a lot of people seem to actually know or understand. See, Mojang has been developing Minecraft updates basically with this principle of focusing on early game stuff, stuff that the player can quickly and easily unlock without having to advance through the rather short chain of progression. So the Nether update really is the furthest along that they've gone in the progression chain with Netherite. And then besides that, it's the progression has been basically neglected. We haven't seen any new progression updates beyond the Nether update, right? It's all been optional stuff in the overworld that you can do basically at any time, which is good right, to have more choice in what you can do when, right, that's kind of in the spirit of Minecraft, but still, there's something important that this kind of vertical 
progression has. You get a sort of satisfaction from progressing along a vertical progression that you don't really get from optional side stuff, right? So the ender, though, has been neglected largely because you need to actually go through that line of progression first to get to it, even though that line of progression, if you know what you're doing like 99.9% of Minecraft players do now, you can get through it in under an hour. So as of to why the Ender has been so neglected, I really don't know. But the good thing about an end update is that with this being at the end of the progression, that finally will give more to late game players, right? People who play through the end. If you advance further along the progression, dedicate more time to the game, you should get better rewards. That's just a principle of game design in general. But updating the end opens up possibilities beyond that. This is what really matters here is that with the end update, Mojang then can go beyond the end. Like, think of it like this. The end has basically been, well, the end. It's been a limit, a cap that you can't go past. Once you hit that, there's nothing above that, beyond that. There's other side stuff you can do, but you won't get any loot better than, you know, the light rust and stuff in the end. Of course, there is, you know, netherite, but anyway, that is basically a limit, right? Which, in Minecraft, isn't really good to have a limit that is so quickly reachable, right? It's a game that many people dedicate a lot of time to and should have a limit that kind of allows the player to work more towards it if they want to, where they can keep on going and going. Obviously, it can't be infinite, but updating the ender would then open up the door of possibilities, basically, to updates in the progression beyond that, right? Because late game is something that Mojang has... <laughs> I think neglected is an understatement, honestly, right? We haven't seen anything for late game players all the way since really the update that added the end cities and Elytra and all that. There's been nothing, which isn't really fair, right? To people who want to put in the time and the dedication into advancing further along, progressing further. So, what the end update does is with the end updated, that unlocks possibilities of new dimensions, maybe even, right? Because Mojang has to update all of the dimensions and before they can add a new one, basically. And so, with the end out of the way, you could go beyond that. Or... What could be more interesting maybe is having some area in the overworld that you can only access after you've explored the end. I think that would be a really cool way to change things up from just going from dimension to dimension, right? So that is what really matters with the end update, right? Minecraft is a game of possibility, and yet it has a dimension that is called the end that that kind of contradicts doesn't it so the way to solve this would be by having the end not really be the end which in a way it all isn't already right of course you can keep playing after that but like i said there's nothing past that in the progression chain 
And there's nothing wrong with extending the progression chain. That's always just adding more to do for players who want it. For players who don't want the end to be the end. That is what matters. Extending that chain. And not only that, unlocking new possibilities for the players who are truly dedicated And that is what the end update can lead to. It's the start of that. I'm making a whole video basically about a plan to improve Minecraft, where the end update is basically the first step. And from that, then you have all of these new possibilities that basically opens up a whole new world for potential in Minecraft. Because in general, having an end... Obviously, there has to be one to everything, but it limits the player in a way that doesn't necessarily feel right in Minecraft. So, with an end update, we could finally fix that and go beyond into whatever is beyond the end. And that also would be very refreshing for old school minecraft players right it's like people have thought of the end for so long as oh yep you go here and then you're done basically because what i've noticed in a lot of worlds mine included that after you go to the end beat the ender dragon loot the end cities get the elytra you can still keep playing but you lose a lot of the motivation to because There's nothing actually added to the game for after that. So you, you know, you can keep playing if you want building stuff or whatever, but there's nothing really more to see. So the end update is the first step to solving that. And that is what makes it so crucial to fixing minecraft in its progression and its progression cap really so that being said hopefully hopefully this next one's an end update right fingers crossed everyone fingers crossed that being said that's all i've got for you today you made it this far consider liking and subscribing and i hope to see you in the next one peace out